Well, Stephen, it's another game here midweek and it's a three points. How are you feeling after that? Buzzing, absolutely buzzing after that, Cammy. Um, you know, to go 1 0 down um, after dominating the full first half, um, you know, they, they got a corner. Um, where, where it, was, it was your ball and then they got a corner and they, they, they scored um, for the second phase of it. Um, oh, the boys scored an absolute world day right in the top corner and, and you go, you know, it's, it feel, felt a bit deflated at half time because we, we were the better team, we knew we were, we, you know, we, we dominated the full the full half and, and to come in 1-0 down was, was, was real sore but I did feel um, um, towards the end of the half, we maybe needed a bit of injection in terms of energy, um, bit of pace in the team because we had played two games in su such a short period. Um, so we brought Tam and Ewan on, which I thought they they really um, they galvanised us. They they gave us a bit of energy. I thought Tam was superb, and I thought Ewan, you know, coming on and getting his two goals really caused problems. Um, so, you know. It's um, in the last couple of games. I think we've been well the better team. And Saturday we didn't get the rewards, and I'm just glad the night they did because it could be a real psychological one in terms of you know dominating the full match and, and, and coming here with a draw or even nothing. It looked like at times, um, but you know they, they got, we got our goals and it was well deserved. You know nobody can come away from here and say we didn't deserve the full three points. I thought the boys were absolutely superb. And you mentioned there um, the addition of uh, Thomas or you know Riley at half time. Of course, uh, Tam getting the assist for the first goal, you and getting both goals himself. Do you think I'll push them back into the uh, starting 11 contention? Well, listen, it's th this is what we want. Um, we want competition for places, and these guys will be thinking, look, um, we, we've, we've done ourselves no harm in, in, in the Hovney, you know, and that's that just shows you the strength we've got. Uh, you know, I, I was really pleased with our recruitment this year. We're, we're, look, we're looking really good. I we had a, we had a few a few bad weeks, but um, the boys are bounced back, and, and you know I think we're, I think we're look, looking really good. I um, think that puts us up to second place now. So you know we're, we're, we're making strides. It's, it's a long season. You know nothing's. Nothing's gained in, in this in this period, but you know we want to just make sure that we're we're hanging at the coattails uh, just now and, and being where we want to be, and, and that's it. And ultimately, you want you want to keep improving week on week, and I think we're doing that as well. So, um, performance-wise, so I, I'm I'm really delighted tonight for the boys because they, for the last four weeks, that's, that's us four four games unbeaten. You know, I said nobody, I don't want anybody to outwork us and I think yeah, the last four games it's clear to say that nobody's outworked us. We we've went in with that attitude and commitment that I've really I've really strived for after players and they've, they've no let me down and it just shows you as you say the strength of the squad in terms of you know having that quality to come off the bench. Of course one of the negatives about uh, tonight was the injury to Dan Higgins in the first half. Any update on him? Well da Daniel uh, just looked as if he tweaked his hamstring and, and could he continue but the Obviously, it's, it's a bit of a blow because he's been do doing really well. Um, but having said that, um, we've got a free week this week, so hopefully that he can um, get into his rehab and, and hopefully Disney um, he's not out for too long. Of course, you mentioned the, the free week because it's international break and also challenge cup. Must be a bit frustrating for yourself knowing that we're in this good form, but we've not got a game. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's, it's killed a wee bit of momentum, you know, similar to the game that was meant to be played, um, obviously when the Queen died, um, which, is, which was um, unfortunate, but um, we, we had to recover and, and deal with that, so we'll do the same, you know, we've not we've no got a game, ideally we want to keep the momentum going, but, you know, look at the positives, maybe there's a couple of boys... You know, played a lot of games and you know need a, need a wee rest and likes of Daniel Higgins needs to recover and it gets my full squad back for um, the next game so um, you know we'll just look at the positives and it's just it's a, it's a great night for us because I thought the boys were excellent and that next game is away to Bonnie Lake a week on Saturday um, of course you know them for your time in the only so what are you expecting from that game I'm, I'm expecting a team that's um, you know big physical they'll, they'll go they'll go back to front it's a tight pitch um, so we'll be well prepared as as we have been in every game um, the boys will know exactly what to expect it will pose a different challenge can we deal with it I think um, you know we're, we're in a good place and you know when, when you've got that confidence the same where we were we were in a bad place it's difficult to get out of that just the same as when you've got confidence it's um, it's obviously it's better you know to, to be on the front foot so um, no we just we can't wait for the next game but we'll, we'll, we'll give the boys the weekend off and they can let some recovery and, and we'll work towards Bonnerick. That's your Stephen. Yeah, worries.